All right, here with uh, Rudy Alvarez, uh, GA coach for uh, our track and field teams. Going to talk a little bit about uh, what the outdoor season has looked like for the Highlanders track team and as we prepare for the athletes who have qualified and are going to the EA championships this weekend. Rudy, what's the, what's the se spring season been like for the track team? You know, long season, especially for those that, you know, coming from cross country, then having the first indoor and all that. So it's been a long season, but it's been going great. And seems like the athletes are picking at the right time so who are some of the athletes that kind of have been um building on that and have really um, performed well this spring well starting from distance uh, rachel domaraki she's just having a phenomenal season um on the spring so it'll be uh ali wisnowski haley's picking at the right time too really good prs lately and all-time performances um See um, on the men's side, Dave Russo, Dylan Bell. Uh, see Gavin Lucky in the jumps has been coming in clutch lately with some good jumps and tough time performances. Um, Jack Howards in the sprint, uh, really good in the hurdles, ranked number two in the EAs right now. Uh, also ranked number four in the jab and on the top of the sprint is on the 100. And Malachi, Malachi has been just mainly throwing. He's ranked six in the jab and six in the shot put, and he's looking to score in, in the discus too. So it's been a pretty good season for him. And not to forget this time, uh, Hayden, she's had a great PR the past um, two minutes ago. She had a 160, clear 160, which is a all-time PR for her. And I think it's like one of the top marks of the all-time here at the school. So yeah, she's ranked number one in the EAs right now. And are, are all those athletes about peaking? Are they ready to um, really challenge for some some spots in the, in the points this weekend? And what's this weekend look like for the for the team as a whole? Yeah, definitely. I mean, they all they all get they all trying to get on that podium, and I think it's I mean it's possible. I mean, they they rank very high right now, and they have been working hard for this. And I think we're, we're gonna have a great weekend. What has the team mentality been like in terms of training? Are they really serious and buckling down to really focus on that? What's what's the attitude been like in practice? I mean, they have been great in practice. They're showing up, and I mean, all that hard work is you know is showing in the track meets, and you see all those performances up there. So they they just been great supporting each other, and you know they they're really ready to get this weekend going. Who are who are those key ones you think are really looking that could challenge for maybe a, a podium, a top three podium spot, maybe not just getting points, but maybe up there in the in the top three. I mean, I would say of course like Rachel Domaraki, like she's she's looking really really good, so she's she's looking to win the ten Ks, and yes, yeah, it's, it's going great for her. Um, the men's side, Dylan Bell and Dave Russo. I mean, it's a dynamic duo right there. They just both ranked fourth and fifth in, in the 10K and the 5K, so that's going to be a tough battle right there. I mean, especially that big double right there is going to be huge for them, and it's challenging, but I think it's possible. And, I mean, Hayden, like I said, she's ranked number first, number one in the high jump, so that's going to be a good beat for her, and she can show those those skills she's been doing lately. She's she's going to be a big time in, in the final for the high jump. And you have some athletes. Some of those could move on to to regionals and beyond beyond this weekend. Yeah, I mean, definitely Hayden. She already qualified for regionals, so she's she's ready to go. Um, let's see other. I mean, if we can look for like Jack Howard, she's. I mean, he's uh he's number two on the hurdles now, so he's looking to qualify for regionals too. It's gonna be a top battle for him too, but that that's possible too. And I I believe that the distance guys too, like Dave Russo, Dylan. And um, Rachel Domaraki, they right there too. So, yeah, and Seth Green too in the steeplechase. So that's a possibility right there. Perfect. Thanks, Coach. Thanks All for right. your insight, and good luck this weekend. Thank you.